Hi everyone, it's Chat Noir, and I'm back with some of my older charms. These are some of the first things I ever made, and some of these are like the first versions of items I ever made. I tried to keep on to like a, a prototype of each item I ever made in polymer clay to try to keep it in mind. You can see my camera there. There's my camera. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you some of my older items. For a while, I don't think I, I don't think these have ever seen like the light of day. These are something I started out with. I started making these polymer clay little fairies. So as you can see, they have little wings and little hearts. I don't know what really possessed me to make these. I don't really know why I made these. I'm not very into fairies actually. I'm not a big fairy fan. But I made a whole series of these. Like this one is like some sort of neon colored one, like a spring fairy. This one was like a little mermaid one. This was like another day glow one. I attached a little bead to the end, like a little dongle. But I made a whole series of those. I think there's still a couple more in here. Like a cute one. This kind of reminds me of baby spice. I also tried to make little tiny ones. I was trying to work tinier. I don't know if it'll focus, but little tiny ones. So I started out kind of making like fairies, although the first thing I ever made was cupcakes. I don't think I have any of my very first cupcakes in here. I have some older cupcakes. Um, let's see. Like, just a typical polymer clay swirl cupcake. That was the first one I ever did. I created a tutorial on DeviantArt on how to create a cupcake similar to this one. Let's see. Um, I made a tutorial on how to make a banana split, like a sundae. And this was the item I created in my photo tutorial. You can see the little banana sticking out. Three scoops of ice cream with toppings, whipped cream. Even though this is like six years old, I'm still pretty proud of it. I think it's still cute. And the bowl was also made using my bowl tutorial. Then up here, this is before I made my bowl tutorial. This is what I used to do before I created my bowl tutorial. And inside is a fruit salad. I used to do a series of plates full of food and stuff like breakfast, little pancakes, sausage, meat. Ooh, dropped it. Dropping everything. This is like a little chicken dinner, chicken, peas, mush, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy. A little breakfast plate. Again, this one was back when I made my plate tutorials. This one's much different than the breakfast plate for, say, this one. They're very different. So you have a whole bunch more breakfast plates, so I'm not going to show you every single plate. This one I was pretty happy with. It's a bowl of salad. Don't know if it'll be able to focus, but it's a little bowl of salad. Then I had uh, caramel apples. I was making these for a long period of time. People really liked these. Then they stopped selling. Nobody, nobody wanted caramel apples anymore. So I even had little walnuts on there. And this is this is very old. This is one of my first caramel apple charms, which I'm very happy with. I did a pretty good job back then. Can't complain much. Uh, let's see what else do I have in my box. I have papu fruit. I'm a, I like Kingdom Hearts. I've played the games up to uh, Dream Drop Distance. I haven't played that one yet. And that new one's coming out. But I liked Papu, so I made the little Papu fruit. Made a couple of them. There are a couple scattered in here. Let's see. Alfredo, pasta, uh, little sponge cake charms. I showed you those in my other video, so I'll skip over those. Uh, little gingerbread man. Chocolates. This is a, I kind of have a signature skull I put on everything and it looks a bit like a keyhole. So this is my little signature skull. I turned that into a charm. I tend to put the skull on things I own and food I buy just so people know that it's mine. Don't touch and don't eat it. This was a project I started working on for my sister who was going to cosplay, but then she decided not to go with it. So 
just kind of threw the half finished project in my box of stuff. I should probably finish them one day. I might put it up for sale. I, I, I haven't played the Pokemon game since uh, Gold and Silver, but she was going to be one of the new professors. It's like the dream professor. I'm not sure who that was, but she has a big flower hair clip and she has a Pokemon with like the big flowers on it. As if that might help anybody. I don't know. Don't judge me. I didn't play. <laughs> uh, lollipops. I made a lollipop tutorial. And these were some lollipops I made as a result of that. This is again like five, six years old, these. Not too bad. I should probably try lollipops again. I haven't tried them in a long time. More lollipops. This is really old. I tried to make it a Nintendo, classic Nintendo controller. Cringing when I look at this one now. It's really rough. Oof, look at that. Ugh. Let's see. What else do I have? This is one of my first ever attempts at sushi before I made my sushi tutorial. You can see I didn't have a very sharp knife, so it blurred when it cut. And... But this is where I started before I made my sushi tutorial. These are the kind of sushis I was attempting to make. As you can see, if you check my sushi tutorial on DeviantArt, I'll put a link down below. But I have come a very far away from this one. That one's really blurry. You can barely tell what it is. I was also making little seasonal trinkets. Like I was making this little guy. It's a little cloud with earmuffs and a hat saying let it snow. It's still pretty cute. I don't know if I'd make them anymore, but it's pretty cute. I like it. Little cake with a strawberry on top. Little slice out of it. Polka dots on the outside. Like fondant polka dots. Not my best cake, but it's old. Back here are some of my jelly donut charms. These I also made a tutorial for. I used to make a lot of tutorials, photo tutorials on DeviantArt.com. And these are some of my jelly donuts with the powdered sugar outside. And it's varnished so it doesn't come off. So it stays on, it looks all powdered. Here's the little missing slice of cake from that uh, full cake. You can see my texturing was awful back then. I, I bludgeoned this. Kind of looks like Spongebob. Oof. Let's see what else do I have. These were some of my first fruit cakes. Not much has changed about these. I've changed a little bit of their texturing, but the toppings I was pretty happy with and I, I've pretty much kept those the same. I haven't changed much about those. This is one of my first ever donuts. Just flat top, no hole in the middle, cream coming out one side, no color, no texture. Just round little donut. And then I evolved into making this kind of a donut. Tiny little hole, much smaller. Little tiny bit of texturing with little tiny sprinkles. So I started getting into little detailing and I made like a little mini series of these. So I had like the Neapolitan flavor. Somewhere there's a pink one. I don't know where that's gotten off to, but I had all three flavors, strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. It's another one of those weather items I was telling you about. This was like a little angry storm cloud and he had little teardrops coming out, but they're not in here. There's another, another fairy. I told you I made a bunch of those. I made a tiny little turtle. My cousin Alyssa, when she was much younger, really liked turtles, so I was always trying to make turtles and stuff for her for her birthday, so this was probably one of my prototypes and I didn't like it, so I made another turtle. If I get a commission and I work on it and I don't like the finished product, I throw it in this box and then I try to make it again from scratch. That's kind of a bad habit, but that's how it used to work. So a lot of these are just like attempted commissions and stuff. One year for New Year's I made little tiny bottles of champagne with a gold leaf at the top. I made my own little tiny paper labels and I used translucent green clay to make little champagne bottles and it said the Sweet Life Champagne really tiny on the label. I don't think that's gonna show up at all. That's really tiny but it says the Sweet Life Champagne and there's a little golden cupcake emblem on it. That was my first attempt at using design into polymer clay like graphic design. Those are back in maybe freshman year of college. Let's see what else do I have. One of the first ever pies I tried to make was this indiscriminate kind of strawberry mousse pie. Just kind of pink with strawberry on top. 
never seen a pie that actually looks like this. I just had colors of clay and I mashed it together and kind of created it. So it's kind of like, a, or I, I took some creative license. I'll say that. I took some creative license in pie. But I'm, I like the color. I, I like the coloring of the filling and the strawberry on top. The pie crust needs a lot of work, but that wasn't too bad. And this is back when I was glazing everything. Every single part of the project got glazed. I wasn't making a distinction between crust versus like whipped cream versus like cherries. Everything was glazed from top to bottom. This is a little teapot I painted little strawberries on. Not too bad. Handle's pretty rough and the paint job's a little gloopy. But that's, again, this is all my old stuff. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. One well, of my first ever cheeseburgers. This was when I first ever attempted to do pastels for the top for coloring. This one, the coloring is not necessarily correct. But it was a good way to test out the technique and try it out for the first time. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm just going to let you look at some photos of what I created, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!